Hi folks, welcome back to AVC. Today's going to be a quick review for this small single coil RTA here. It's going to be capable of being vaped in either a mouth to lung configuration or a slightly restricted derrick to lung configuration. It's going to be from a company called Kizoko or Kizoku. I've never heard of them before, but I do believe they are a subsidiary of vape only. Vape only, I've heard of in the past. The other party piece for this small RTA here is that the build deck can be unscrewed. When you screw the build deck and remove it, you can then screw in a stock coil. Those stock coils are going to be the Nautilus coils. So in a way, it's a two-in-one. It's an RTA and a stock coil tank. It's going to be called the Limit RTA. So let's go down, look on the box. I'll show you how to make it into a stock coil tank. And I'll form a quick build. Then we'll come back up top, talk about it. See you in a minute. Okay, and here are the box that the Kazunku Limit RTA comes in. A little blue box. You can see straight through it what the RTA looks like. And this side just says Kizoko. Again, Kizoko website. Kizoko website again. On the back, a few details. I'll leave it for you to read. There's going to be a little sleeve, just slide it off. And on the front, there's going to be a little plastic shield. It's quite nice actually, just with the logo and the name itself. Inside the box, go find the RTA, put that to one side. Underneath here, we're going to find a little baggie with a tri screwdriver and some grub screws. These are going to be flathead screws. So spare oil rings and there's going to be a glass tank. Some cotton and a coil. It doesn't say what the coil is or what the wire is. What we'll uses this one obviously. And at the very bottom, it's a real instruction booklet. This instruction booklet is really good because on one side it shows you how to use it as a RTA. And on the other side it will show you how to use it as a stock coil tank. And here we are with the limit itself. It's got a little logo on the front. On the base is going to say Kizoko, CE mark, dot and pin, and your serial number. As you can see, the 510 pin here isn't screwable, it is fixed in place. That's because this will take stock calls as well. It's going to be 22 millimeter in diameter. I think it's about 54 in height or 57 in total. On the top, you have a little mouthpiece. This is going to be a 510 drip tip with double o-rings, nice tight bore I must say, for a nice mouth to lung vape. There's no spare one in the packaging for jet to lung, it's just a little mouth to lung one. The top fill on here, as you can see on the side here, there's a little arrow. You can't push to slide it straight away. It's got a child lock on it where you've got to actually unscrew this. Get hold of the nail in, unscrew it. And if you screw it all the way up, you can then push it to fill. It's got a little membrane. My membrane here, as you can see, has got a little tear in it. I'll talk about that later on. It's not affected it, it's not leaked, but yeah, that's torn just slightly there. When you've got your mouthpiece on, you can still raise that up and slide it over quite easy. If you've got a different 510, obviously, you might not be able to do that. You might have to take it out first. So like I said, on the front, it has the um, logo, little glass display window here, and on the base, there's going to be six air holes here. You can close off one by one. These are all the same size. You have one, two, three, four, five, and six all in all. And it stops. You can then also turn it all the way around to reveal a slot. And again, there's gonna be a stopper here. To get to the base of this one, just unscrew it. And it will unscrew. You need to change the glass. Hold this piece here, get hold of this, and just unscrew it apart. And then you can change your glass for cleaning. This one will hold two mils of either quid. Inside, it's quite a big chimney inside there and a quite a big chamber. That's to accommodate the stock coil. On the deck itself here, let's get to its point. It's going to be a very simple deck. It's going to be two screws. They are flathead. One on this post, one on this post. Unscrew those. 
drop your coil in here, one leg goes inside this one, one in here, screw them down, trim it, and then just put your cotton through and into the little wicking holes here. Very easy, very simple. There is a slight groove, if I can zoom in. Yeah, there is a slight groove here to pull your wire across slightly when, you, when you're going to trim it. Now you may be thinking, how does this work as a stock coil tank? Basically, if you put in a build here, it's gone bad or you've done it wrong. You just can't be bothered to change it. You want to just put the coil in, get hold of this base, twist it, and then screw it. Then that whole build deck will come out. You'll then get your Nautilus coil, screw that in. And now you've got a Nautilus tank rather than an RTA. When this is inside here, it's quite a big chamber, so there's a lot of juice gets straight to the coil. I like this design. So you want to change it back to being an RTA, just unscrew that. And screw your deck back inside. So it's a very versatile RTA. You can use it as a mouth to lung, a restricted direct to lung, or a stock coil tank. This is going to be ideal for a new builder who uses stock coils but wants to get into rebuilding. They don't want to go out and buy an RTA or an RDA and find that they don't like it. This way they can buy this one, have a little try at building, if they're not happy with it, take it out, stick in the coil and just use it as a stock coil tank. They can always then come back later on and try again and try again until they get the hang of it and then they can start using it more as an RTA. So it's very simple to install a coil in this one. Just undo your glove screws, get your coil. My coil obviously will be from Nature Vape. I'm using the two core parallel fuse Clapton coil. It's going to come out about a 0.91. Get one leg, put it in on one side, one leg on the other side. Hold it down and screw it in place. Really simple to build this one, I must say. You're going to give it a quick trim. That is more or less how I like mine. In the center, about two to three millimeters up over the air hole. And it came in at a 1.07. Uh, lower that voltage. It's going to go a quick fire at 10 watts. That's glowing nicely from the center outwards. So that's about the right sort of placement for this one. Let it cool down, we'll do some wick. Just get your cotton, put it through. I've been cutting mine about at the base, more or less. Give it a little fluff up. What I've then been doing is cutting it a slight V shape. Give a little trim this side, and a little trim this side, and again this side. Just like that. You don't want too much cotton going down into those wicking holes. You can have a little bit showing here underneath. This is going to be a GTA style deck where the juice comes up from underneath. And that for me is fine. Juice today is going to be from Element E Liquid. It's going to be the Yatsu Hashi. This is going to be the cinnamon rice pudding that I reviewed not long ago. So yeah, there we are, all coiled and whipped. Screw this back on the top. Screw it on top here. Push it to the side. And then we'll just go fill it up.
that will do. So 1.07, gonna fire this at about 12 watts. Yeah. Quit vape. So yeah, there we are. That was the limit RTA from Kizoko. Let's go back up top. Have a quick talk. So yeah, there we are. That's up close for the limit RTA from Kizoku. Fit and finish on this one is really nice, I must say. It's quite a tall one. It's about 55 or 57 millimeters in height. It's only 22 millimeters in diameter. That height is being caused by it being not just an RTA, but also a stock cold tank. Nice threading on this one, I must say, and the O-ring tolerances have been really, really good. I'm gonna go through the good points. Good points, obviously gonna be that build deck. Really easy to build on. Very simple, and do those two screws, just drop your legs straight in and screw them down. The wicking on this, simple, easy like I showed you. The other good point will be the fact that you can actually remove that build deck and put in a Nautilus coil. That takes this above your average RTA. If you are a new builder or you're just sort of a stock hole vapor and you're thinking about going into rebuilding, but you don't want to fork out the money for a dedicated RTA or an RDA even. You could buy this one, play around with it, put in a build if you're not happy or it goes wrong, or screw the deck, screw in the Nautilus coil, fill it up, vape away, and come back to it another day and try again. So it's a good starter for a new builder to get hold of. I do like the capacity. Two mils from out to long is fine. Like I said, I do believe you can get it in the three mil version as well. The top fill, again, is another good point. A lot of RTAs have this push slide to fill. They're all well and good, but I find that over time, that slide becomes a bit looser. This way, we got to unscrew the top part first before you can slide it. There's no chance it will ever come loose. So you put your pocket, it will never come open by mistake and leak. Another good point will be the airflow. The fact that you've got six holes on one side for your mouth to lung and then an open slot on the other side for direct to lung. I have put in a 0.5 ohm coil in this one and use it as a direct to lung. I found that even with it being wide open, it is slightly restricted direct to lung. It's never going to be an open direct to lung. I have a few bad points. Obviously, as I showed you down the up close, that top fill with a little membrane Minor split just slightly has it affected it when I fill it up and I slight screw it down It's not leaked, but the fact that it has already got a little split. It's got to be a bad point Another bad point. It's not really gonna be a bad point in a way will be the flavor The flavor on this limit as a RTA is pretty decent. It's not high flavor It's not amazing flavor, but it's a pretty decent flavor as a stock coil tank with a Nautilus coils, however, it's going to be great flavour. My final thoughts on this one will be that it's a great RTA for any vapor who's vaping on stock coils, but is thinking about getting to rebuilding, they can buy this one and play around. It has so many functions. It's a mouth to lung RTA, it's a direct to lung RTA, but it's also a stock coil tank. And that is a good selling point. For the money, it's really, really good. Guys and girls, hope that video did like the video. Want to give me a thumbs up? Dislike it, of course, give me a thumbs down. And yeah, that's what I've got for you today. And I will see you all next time.